Hello everybody, Mish here. I just wanted to talk about some really cool scripting tools that I've kind of um, had to create in order to work with uh, both Ethereum and OCC, uh, whether it was involved in actually creating the original crypto coin um, with the OCC team or um, just generally moving around Ethereum. Uh, and so today I'd like to talk about transferring OCC via script. And so I'm going to go ahead and go into the infamous code th for OCC. And one of the things I want you to note is that this is actually, almost all of this stuff is available um, on GitHub at github.com slash original crypto slash OCC hyphen contracts. So uh, anything I do here, you can do too. It's just a matter of um, understanding the scripts and how they work. So um, the script I'd like to talk about is transfer. Uh, so I'd like to go ahead and work, walk through the code a little bit and increase its size so you can read it. Transfer is one of the functions, the standard functions for an ERC-20 token, and most people are used to uh, using a mobile wallet or uh, my Ether wallet and other things like that, uh, whether it's, you know, Cypher wallet, Toshi, Trust. Um, there are a few others, but those are the main ones. There's Mist, of course, but um, it's not the most user-friendly out there. Uh, there's JAX involved for sending um, specific official tokens and of course Ethereum, um, but I think most people are used to using Mu. We're going to use Truffle, which is actually um, a tool that you can use to completely create your own ERC-20 token. Um, I know this from literal experience, uh, but uh, today we're going to focus on the transfer function of, of, of a general ERC-20 token. Uh, this particular script is actually kind of cool. Um, all it needs is three parameters, from, to, and value. It, they are literally the uh, interface to an ERC-20. If you look at the function for an ERC-20 token, it's uh, to and value. Now the reason this needs from is it's going to need to know um, from whom to make the transaction. An important thing is um, this uses a transfer action. So I've actually uh, kind of abstracted away a lot of the actions you can make and uh, so that it's a lot easier to, to work with. All this particular function needs is an instance of Web3. Web3 is essentially what makes all of the dApps, uh, so the decentralized applications run. Um, it needs Web3, an instance of a token contract, uh, from, to, and value. And it needs those things in order to build a, a transaction. And from is pretty important because um, it's going to be what your uh, wallet provider is going to um, uh, unlock and sign the transactions for you. Here, I've actually got a couple of really cool things. Um, I can uh, hook up to different networks, and for most people, you're not going to be interested in hooking up to different networks, um, but I am. In the course of developing OCC, uh, there are a number of different tests networks as well as local test networks. So for instance, uh, a local node and and something called Ganache. Um, of course, there's Ropstein, Coven, Rinkeby, Main, and you can use Main on Infura, which is uh, sort of a node provider. And that's what I'm going to do today. But before I do that, let's check out F Gas Station, just see what um, what the gas prices are right now. All right, this is going to take a little bit of time. OK. 
Okay, so gas price is around seven. I'm using seven, not too bad. All right, so we'll go with that. So to execute a Truffle script, you're going to need Truffle exec. And because I have a number of different networks in my truffle.js file, I can actually pick which one I want to use. Let's go ahead and just use the main network, just for fun. So I'm going to use scripts, transfer, I need a from, so in fact, I'm going to need uh, to go figure out uh, which to use. So one of the other scripts I have um, is a script to list the accounts that I actually have access to using my seed. So this is going to show you the public keys to uh, the first 10 um, accounts in my wallet, but uh, I'm actually going to use the second one right here and the first one. So here we are. From is going to be that first one. From two is, or second one, from is going to be that first one. And the amount. So amount is written in way. So there are a number of things you need to be cognizant of. The fact that if uh, that both OCC and Ethereum or Ether use 18 decimal places. So let's say you only wanted to send 300 OCC, you need to send 300 OCC written out in way. And in order to do that, um, it would be something like this 300 E18 because there are 18 decimal places out there. So um, that's 3E20, so if you put that in, and I will just want to send in th uh, 300 OCC, 3E20 is all I need to put in. Uh, it's simpler than writing out all these, all the zeros, uh, learn scientific not notation, it's just, it's so simple. So I start that going, and that's running on Infura. Oh. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Of course, I forget the parameter names to my own script. Yeah, value, not amount. Okay. Here we go. So that's going to go use 7 GUI on the Infura network. Um, and since we're sending from this address, let's go look at Etherscan and see what it's doing. Ah, here we are. So there's a pending transaction in there. Let's see what's going on. It looks like I'm, just, yeah, so there's the 300 year, uh, OCC with a pending transfer to another address. Um, it's running the transfer function with to and from, blah, 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 all that good stuff. It says it's going to take around 19 minutes to complete. So this is not going to return, the script's not going to return on that until that um, is actually complete. Um, wow. The network looks like it's clogged right now, but either way, we'll update the video once that's completed. It's pretty safe to say that that's going to be completed, so um, pause the, uh, the recording for a second and wait for that to complete. Okay, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. Found a couple of cool and interesting things. Um, but here we are, 300 OCC sent to, uh, sent through, um, from one address to another via script. Now, what you'll notice is that because the gas price was so low and the, the transaction was taking such a long time, um, it's, it's going to tell you that this particular transaction failed 
to pers to be to get mined in 240 seconds, which um, isn't actually all that much time. So you'll notice that that's the same transaction right here. Um, no big deal. It eventually did get mined. That's one of the drawbacks of Ethereum is time to mining, gas, and gas utilization. But here we are. Um, we created a script, one liner, and it sent OCC from one account to another. Pretty simple.